Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. And um, it's going to be more from now on, by the way, FYI. I know I haven't made an official announcement on the podcast for a while. But um, as you probably must have noticed, the um, previous co-host, Dr. Yomide, hasn't been on for a while. Um, he's taking a leave of absence, so it's going to be me from now on. And um, so, yeah, that's just going to be the announcement. And that's all there is to it. But here, yeah, there's a constant thing about this podcast. I'm always going to be here. You know, the co-host might change every now and then. But we're always still going to be bringing you original um, conversations and um, with people that I'm inspired by. And perhaps sometime in the future, Dr. Yamine might make a guest appearance. It's highly possible, but for now, it's just going to be me. And thank you so much for your support and listenership. Okay, back to today's conversation. Um, this is just something that came up from a conversation we had five, ten minutes ago. Actually, we've been talking about we've talked about it one time before, but I'm like, you know what, let's just do a podcast episode about it, you know. And I think it's something that affects everybody. You know, even though we're specifically focusing on one gender. Um, if you are a male living around this kind of gender, you're married to one, chances are you've been hit by this kind of thing, literally. So today on the podcast, you know how she's not guest in the podcast. My very good friend, um, Bingpe, Ola Bingpe, Shode. She'll be um, a guest today. I'll we'll be talking about personal hygiene, ranging from body odor to mouth odor to vagina odor. And so for kids who might be listening to this episode, you probably need your parents to explain some things to you. Or maybe not listen to that. Of course, we're not going to be explicit. That said, we are not experts, Okay. Um, I do have a science background and a health um, degree, but that said, I don't consider myself an expert when it comes to gynecological issues. So perhaps you listen to this and you're having some issues down that area. Please stop listening to this podcast and go make an appearance throughout literally, literally with your healthcare provider. All right, everybody. Please welcome <laughs> Big Bay Show Day. I love Big Bay Show I'm not just calling you Big Bay, but I know you don't like me calling you Big Bay. I love no, you can Bing call me Big Bay. Big Bay, yeah, you can call me Big Bay. Girl, right? you always had my head on that flyer. Like, I love Big Bay. My name is I love Big Bay. No, no, no. When it's on the flyer, I like the full name. But I mean, of course, you can call me Big Bay. Why not? All right, noted. So, um... Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm trying to get a picture here. <laughs> Abigail, my sister, no doubt, okay? Allah being playing. She wants Allah being put on the flyer. All right. Yeah. Well, welcome back again, Bingo. It was nice to have you. Thank you. Thank uh, you so much for having me again. Of course, of course. We're ready for some laughs. Before we go, <laughs> I think it's very important to talk about what happened to me in New York. Remember that voice yes. that I said? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Guys, like seriously, <laughs> I almost died. Oh, I almost died. Okay, uh-huh. let me say something about me. I don't like oily food. <laughs> and people knows this. Like when I see the oil, and I know I'm Nigerian. I should be careful how I say this. I try Yoruba. The way all that kind of like you see the food and you see all separating like one chemistry project. Yeah, I don't like Your it. Rivals. It's it really turns my stomach. So I had gone to New York um some days ago, and I I had something in New York recently when I went this thing, and it was very oily. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to say no, you know, but then he was like, eh, let me just try it. And if I were to make that food myself, I wouldn't put that amount of oil in it, you know? <laughs> so hmm, for context, the trip to that person's to the place, I, cause I had to go visit some people. It was like almost two hours away yeah. In New York. In New York, on the train. It was two hours away from where I was. Because I was in Manhattan, and they were very far away. So I, t- I, g- I hopped on the train, went to see them. You know, it was a very nice gathering. They offered me food. I really, I mean, I enjoyed it. All things being equal. And then on my way back home, and before I, I mean, oh, being nice in New York, you know, I avoided my bladder. I missed, tra- But I wasn't thinking of doing number two, because it wasn't, you know, number two, you can't force it. If it's not there, it's not there. But number one, you can still try to you know, encourage mm-hmm. to come out. Guys, I got on the train back to where I was staying in Manhattan. And then maybe like 30 minutes 
the train. And I guess because I was going back late, schedules changed after like 10 o'clock or so. They start cutting off some routes, and then your trip kind of almost like increases like 30 minutes. So my two hours became like two hours, 30 minutes. And I didn't know that. And I was already calculating. All of a sudden, I just said, ah, this trip is getting longer. My stomach and I started turning. I looked through hmm. left and right. I was panicking. I and was gonna... rushing. <laughs> that is what was you cold. You search here, search here. No. <laughs> there's no, there's no restroom in the subway. And oh. I was wearing, I was wearing a thick winter coat, but I was sweating profusely. And I said, you know, <laughs> thinking, ah, you have you seen that, that yeah. scene in Bridesmaids when uh, Melissa <laughs> uh, that they they they, they, they relieve themselves in the middle of the streets? Oh girl, that was that mm-hmm. was that was that could have been me. If you have to go, you have to I go. I was on my train on Grand um, at Grand Central, and I had like a five minute walk to my hotel because I was staying oh. at Western. You walk like a penguin. <laughs> the way I go, and my floor, I, my uh, the hotel was you had to like fish out your key from your bag, and you know the way uh, the women's spots are like it's almost like Bermuda Triangle. You have to dig and yeah, and then you mm-hmm. have to. Sc- and I was staying on the nineteenth floor. I was like, eh, I'm not gonna make this. No, like, there's no way I don't make, make it. Make headline news black woman caught clinic of pain in the elevator i just ran <laughs> to the front desk i'm like i'm a hotel guest where is the bathroom on this floor the woman the black lady looked at me she was like i know this person i i was like i know this look i recognize this look i don't like touching anything i threw my purse i threw my threw my jacket i'm like jacket every time i know the okay. way i'm about to pass gas i mean girl like it was just god that helps me so that was what happened to me in New York. And I remember saying the voice to you, Bimpe. Bimpe was like in tears. <laughs> I've not had that happen to me in a while. But I mean, man. it was so, it was funny and it was the end of the same because I could just imagine <sighs> the torture. <sighs> Oof. I you know what, you, and I looked at it like, my God, like. Praying and, and holding on and I, I'm hoping and praying that all the muscles in the, in that region, they work. But let's then just thank God that we're in a place like the US. Imagine if I was in Lagos where clean toilets hey. are like you know a luxury what would oh i God. do you know what there needs to be an app that tells you where they look you know, I mean, it depends on what part of i Lagos know i'm going to talk about Lagos. i mean like central like you know where we, where we right, grow right, right you know yeah. um i know like many stores mm-hmm. won't even have, that's a trust many me. stores won't have like restrooms like here you know no, that's even if they do they it's not for use them, right? employees you know, mm-hmm. so i'm just sort of sitting to the engineers out there please there needs to be an app do we have via up telling us restaurants to go to and restaurants to avoid? We need to have an app for you know yeah. clean restrooms. Okay, that's it. Let's talk about these things. They do happen. They Sometimes happen. it's not even true. Girl, strange food. I felt very mm-hmm. helpless. I just imagined that if I was Arif, yeah. you know, I would have just done it in my yeah, diaper. Yeah, Sarah, there's no, there's I was no way around discussed. it. I was discussed because there was this last part. <laughs> I knew if I had let it out. <laughs> if I had let it out. It was going to be Girl, crazy. That was the end. Right so shout out to people that have gone through this. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, that will also decimate you as a... It will just level... It will humble you as an adult. Okay, let's talk about personal yep, hygiene. Yep, absolutely. Um, I don't know. Has that happened to me before? I don't know. Oh, it happened to somebody when I, I was in high school. Happened. We're going home. You know, boarding house now. They're, and this girl was in the bus screaming. The bus driver won't want to stop. He wanted to wait at the nearest bus stop. And I remember her name. She was screaming like please stop the driver said and i think it was during that time that he didn't want to stop because of you know unrest and people could come out of the bushes and this was this right. man you know driving 100 you know young teenage girls you girls, know from oil yeah. to lagos but this girl was screaming by the time they let her out she just ran into the bush and did it there one oh, posh wow. looking girl and i can never forget we're all laughing then but i'm like good goodness it could have, it could have been you y'all yes, and you laughing now she's probably laughing here yes Anyways, let's talk about personal hygiene. <laughs> I got a message um, a while back from um, a friend, um, well, like, well, somebody that I know, and she asked me a question about how that she had a, an issue she wanted to talk to me about. And I think because she got married not so long ago, that she noticed okay. that her jeans crutch, you know, so basically where her vagina sits, that there's some smell yeah. that comes out from there, and she doesn't know what's going on. And that, have I experienced that kind of problem, or what can she do about it? I Okay, the reason why I'm actually talking about it on the show is because it, it, it happens to a lot of people that you guys that we give credit, you know, for. Plus, we've talked about other female issues here, like you know, um, period and mm-hmm. you know, um, things that come out of that area. So it's just as well to yeah. kind of talk about, you know, this issue, and it's something that I think affects most people. And and I think what what we we're able to find out was the the kind of material she wore. 
So apparently, if you wear like more synthetic materials, you're more likely to have yeah. smell contained mm-hmm. there. So she started switching mm-hmm. to cuttings and, you know, yeah. of course, cleaning up after every, you know, um, sexual activity and maybe peeing. And that has seemed to help. But I think um, let's just even talk, talk about some of the, let's talk about some of, like, just the, how the vagina functions. We know it's a flat surface area and it's, it's a, it's a, it's a rec- recipient of so many things. And I... Well, flat surface for who? It's no, but <laughs> compared to a guy. Okay. You know, when they pee, they just shake it off and no, they're no, no, gone. I'm just being silly. I'm oh, God. So I live in Oklahoma. Okay, Oklahoma just, is a flat mm-hmm. surface, and that's why we get tornadoes. Right. We get all extreme wet. We can have like four oh, so. seasons in a day. Is how I like mm-hmm. the vagina to be. It's a very <laughs> wide receiving. Not wide. Depending on sizes, may vary. You know, <laughs> depending. But love your vagina the way it is. Okay, there's no one size yep. that fits all. Love your vag. No. Okay. It's, yeah, but um, big it's big, let's just talk about some yeah. like what what are your views on just you know smells in that area before we talk about you know how to like best practices and all that. And again, remember we're not experts; we're just talking about our own experiences and what we think would yeah. work or what not work for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So first of all. Um, I, I think we should all, so gen, we're talking about hygiene. Yes, generally. hygiene, yeah, hygiene, yeah. Yeah, generally, so the front, the back. But we can start down south and then move up north. Okay, yeah. okay. I mean, yeah, so, I mean, I guess it's, this one is different. Well, it depends on what's going on in your body. So, say, for example, your period is coming. Um, smell is a little different. It's pungent. Not too pungent. Uh-uh. Um, but <laughs> Every vagina has a smell. You know, I mean, yeah, it be a natural has a smell. smell, guys. Natural, to yes, you, right? Um, yeah, I mean, it should be natural to everyone, really, because when it starts to have fishy a fishy smell, girl, uh, a fishy smell, uh-uh. an extra fishy smell, I then know, we I know fish around it, then something's yeah, going on. yeah, or you have not eaten, um, what's it called? Um, anchovies, oh, yeah, even if you take omega, omega fish oil, it's it still shouldn't go, yeah, yeah, it shouldn't go that way, yeah. 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 no, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, uh, topic you. As I'm saying, it's going to be hard to talk about because we're not experts. Well, why does someone say we're not experts? But these are some things we know. Uh, it's not you and I carrying okay. like fishy vagina no. all the way. How come we don't have fish? Well, what are we doing that we're not having fishy vagina? It's what we can talk about. Okay, so what do I? I mean, I just ensure that. I don't know. I guess I'm one of those people who I'm very particular about smells. Yeah. Um, especially Jackie, I'm recording. I probably uh-huh. smells from down there. <laughs> A restaurant smells, you know, from down there. Uh, so what do I do to prevent it? I, I I'm particular about smells. I'm so I, I I'm very like I, my, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere without my body spray. So if I feel that my mm, I don't have not I don't have not had the opportunity to clean, especially from from my work. Yeah, I, I'm constantly spraying so that it, it's whatever. <laughs> Whatever is going on, it's, it's been much like I'm not, you're not spraying anything from down there. Or when I go into the bathroom, yeah. I try to, I wet the paper towel. Yes. Of course, I'm very discreet around about that. Yeah. I wet and I go in there and I wipe the, I need to feel fresh. And you have to so wipe, then, tell them how to wipe because women don't know that. Yeah, because, yeah, you can't wipe, uh, so I wipe from front to back. Front you can't to wipe back, from front yeah, to back. So you can't go back to front yeah. because you are introducing yeah, because bacteria from your butt, yeah. To to so yeah so that's what I do and when I'm home I try sometimes I try to go com- uh, what's it called commando because you need air, air yeah, yeah 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 you need air in you need there. Air in there. yeah uh, yeah so you can be you can be home all the time I mean I mean home and then wearing your un- underwear all the time or at least you know um spend money getting cotton on the wares you know those things are not very cheap but at least maybe invest in one or two let's not lie they're very yeah. they're not very they're not very budget friendly but. The no, way. I even think it's the other way around, though. The satin um, underwear that quite no, good pricey. cotton. Good cotton is not very cheap. Oh, oh yeah, good cotton. Yeah, good cotton is not very cheap. But if you go to Walmart, they have cotton. Uh, it might not. It might not last you a long time. Yeah, but... yeah. I'm talking about <laughs> good cotton. No, the one that you don't want. <laughs> It'll to be, be like your toothpaste. You have to change every three months. Exactly. Exactly. You know, so, but in the long run, you end up spending more money if you do that. And but even ultimately, watch those don't matter because they're very heat, yeah. you know um, labor. So you have to be careful how you uh, expose it to elements. What I want, actually wanted to say is this. So for those that are newly married, they sex, let's say, for example, you ain't having sex before, and then all of a sudden you, you got married, and they're like, what mm. is this smell coming from my nether area? Like, I know I'm not dirty. Yeah. Well, you should know that sometimes the sperm from your spouse can also yeah. alter the... the uh, 
so th- your your girlfriend, for example, has a high concentration of sweat glands. Now, during sexual activity or even exercise, it's normal for that area to become sweaty, and it might also give contribute to a more prominent vaginal odor. That said, when you have maybe after sex and you know maybe the next day, it smells like something is rotting and it smells like fish. That could be Damn. an infection called bacterial vaginosis. So you need, yeah. you know, because again, it's just disturbing your vaginal ecosystem. And sometimes that mm-hmm. can be followed by a gray discharge or a, thing, a fishy odor. Because it, yeah. when, it con- when it comes together with the semen, it's going to, you know, smell horribly. So see your doctor for that. It shouldn't smell like fish, all I'm trying to say. But, but ultimately, but even after sexual activities, you, should, you really should try to pee and then, and then try to use water. Wash up. Use water, you know. Yeah. I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Douche- no, I'm no, don't do douches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't sit, don't yeah. sit your butt in a, in a hot pot. I'm not out here doing no, sexual. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. You know what thing I noticed when I went to Lagos um, the past few years is that most houses now have like um, a little hose for water. But is it bidet? Not like bidet. Not like bidet is like the upgraded form, like you find in Japan and Korea. I'm talking about they just from the WC, the water closet, they extend a hose, like a little tap. And this is needed in most homes, especially if you have female. Even here in the US. You don't have it. Yeah, so, I don't have, we don't have it a lot here in the US. Though. No, we don't. We don't. But I'm don't. saying that it's, just, it's something that we should start to. Because we use tissue. Mm, that's all the clean world. It doesn't clean it does well. Not. Like for me, absolutely. Yeah, like for mm-hmm. me, after doing number two, I still need to wet, you know, something to like. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. we use because growing up we used to tamba. We use water, and I'm a, what, water, water is yeah. water. Everybody, even Indians, yeah. do that a lot. You know, water is the best yeah. thing. How do you it, forget it about this just toilet? To, uh, yeah. It doesn't work very well. You know, you use you use water, and then now your pants is wet. Yeah. So now everybody's gonna know. They're gonna think, maybe did you pee on yourself or no, what did you do? No, no. That's that's. Yeah, of doing that outside when I'm when I'm home. Oh yeah. yes, we're using water. Yeah, because I just have to keep feel clean down because it starts to itch. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. And also again, we talked so. about the pants material you wear, and then no, I try, okay, I, I can't speak about men, but I know one of the biggest issues people talk about with their spouses or their boyfriend is that they don't clean their boxers. So I'm not going to talk about men. Yeah, no, let's talk about that. <laughs> no, I have something to say about that. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Let's talk about that. Because I grew up with boys. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about that in particular. Because men, ooh, some, oh my goodness. I think when they go to the bathroom, they don't really wipe well. I, I don't know why... I, again, I can't speak for all men. I think because but number one, they can just shake their stuff and move out. But number two, everybody needs to wipe clean. Yeah. That's the community yeah, 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 we have. have. Right that area. Mm-hmm. And so anyway, this experience that I had with this one friend, uh, sat on my chair and I just, the person got up and there was just, just this smell. Hey. I'm no, like, no, what does it smell like poo? And I'm just like, oh my God. So I went up like, no. <clears throat> and I saw that little stain. On there, and I was like, "My goodness, this person used the bathroom didn't clean up well." And I didn't know how to bring it up with this person because, again, this person's a very good friend of mine, and <clears throat> we, I mean, they come around a lot. And so, one day, I kind of brought it up, but I brought it up in a very playful manner. How did like, you do it? How did you do that? Know? How did you? Because I, I think I it's so it. sensitive. How did you say it in a playful manner? It is sensitive. Did they take offense at so it? I, I, um, so I think it's the way that I presented it. Okay, how did you, tell us so, how you did it? Because this is I can't, I can't remember exactly what we're talking about, but I just kind of slid it in just right there. I didn't. It was it was so unrelated. I said okay, but there's you know, or like you know, you correct me in this way. So there's something I've been meaning to tell you, and I said there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Oh my goodness! And he said, oh what? I said yeah, please don't take it any type of way. Then I went serious. I said please don't take it any type of way. But when you go to the bathroom, try and clean up well. So that was how I kind of, you know, presented it at that, you know, in that conversation. So it wasn't like, oh boy, you need to wipe down there, like properly, and stop standing in my chair, or stop booming all over the place, right? So I think presentation matters when, when, you, when you're trying to present or bring that kind of conversation up. So yeah, that's, what, that's how I did it, at least with that friend. Again, um, your level of comfortability with this person yes, matters. Yes, yes. And the relationship. Just, is it like a one-time yeah, thing yeah. or, you know. Right. Yeah. Is it going to break your relationship? Is it going to break or make it? Yeah. You know, so you have to consider all of these things. And, um, yeah, so 
for me in that instance, I needed to talk about it because it was just, it just bothered me. I was not comfortable having that person around mm. me after a while because of that. Yeah. You know, so yeah, but well, we did talk about it. Okay, good. And then I'm sure, yeah, the person I appreciated, I appreciated me bringing that up. Me and okay. I think I've, yeah, I've noticed a change. And I was also trying to inject a little bit and say that for those who might be on the other side of receiving the message, like imagine if your friend came to meet you to tell you that, oh, I know this is about you, key. This is what I want to give. It took them a while to be able to say that to you. Yeah. So take it like they mean well. I know nobody wants to hear that you have a funky smell in your nether regions, but it's why a friend tells you than somebody that you don't even know. And people start hailing you yeah. too. Because chances are your friends are probably just trying avoiding you because it's like yeah. Right. Or even at work. It could it could it could literally Girl. take away opportunities from you. They're not gonna invite you to places yes. if you're booming. Yes. yes. Like you, you literally change the atmosphere. Yes. yes. When I, I know you're a good way. Yes, yes. You know, so And I know mm-hmm. we're still talking about before we move up to, we move up up north. That's we're still in the southern area, so everybody right. should still clean. Again, even if it's just so some Walmart sells this, and I know not everybody has Walmart near them or they're living in countries where they have Walmart. If you can get wet wipes, you know, if you don't have access to water near you, um, if you can mm-hmm. get wet wipes, so it's something that you can wet. It could even be wetting the toilet paper the and mm-hmm. just you know do it as many times until you see no doo on the if, if they're clean, yeah, it's clean it's return, clean. yes, then try that. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I can also talk about I agree. women. Yeah, yeah, I can also talk about women because you know that's people I'm familiar with because I have a vagina, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know why I keep saying I have mm-hmm. a vagina. Um, but you, do. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, I don't like keep alluding to it. Of course, it's implied, right? <laughs> But we can never say right. Um, sometimes mm-hmm. even uh, using mm-hmm. some type, types of condoms can actually throw your um, vagina for oh, off. Yes. Tell me about it. Yes, yes. So again, um, some women are allergic to certain materials in condoms. Latex, yeah, like latex yeah. and all that. And of mm-hmm. course, she also makes, wants to make sure that there's adequate lubrication. So um, mm. do not use um, oil-based um, lubricants. You know, like petroleum jelly mineral oil and all that be very careful around those another thing i also want to talk about is um um douching or is it douching or du- douching. Douching. no yeah douching, douching yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. guys it's girls no like your vagina is has an automated room by inside it trust me mm-hmm. the way god designed it it can clean itself <laughs> It doesn't yeah. need any of those um, feminine, intimate wipes. It doesn't need yoni eggs. It doesn't need all those sitting on a hot pot like someone that wants to do babala. No. 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 Just water. Just water. Yeah. Okay? Water and clean underwear. And good underwear. Yes. And for those that are mm-hmm. very physically active, like I noticed that when I started playing more um, pickleball and doing more weight, I started noticing a more funky smell in that area. And especially when you're sweating. Sweating more. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And don't wear tight things that are too tight. When you wear clothes, yeah. clothes that are too tight, and what? Where do you wear clothes that are too tight? When I'm playing pickleball or doing, um, going to the gym, I have to wear like you know uh, my workout pants, and they're quite tight, right? That can cause yeah. your vagina to sweat, and invariably cause you know vaginal odor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For those that are new to this, I've not I've introduced a couple of my friends to tampons. Please do not leave tampons inside. I le- I heard the story of a woman that. I've just kept shoving it, never took them out. Ugh, my God, change them How? every four. I don't know. I don't, I don't, know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah, I've, yeah, like <laughs> I remember every so four to eight 20... hours. Just you, you kind of know if you are if you are not blessed like people like us with heavy periods, we can't even keep it for four to eight hours. There's no way. Yes. <laughs> We're taking no, others are putting how, how deep or how wide is this vagina? I don't know. I just it like I don't know. Like how? It's a highway. I used tampons. tampons. <laughs> I mean, I use tampons, and I, and I don't. I don't know how. And you know, you have to keep out the little string out, right? No, no, no. I know that. I'm saying so. So imagine that you have one in there and you shove another one up there. I don't know. How? Like the resist the sh- the, sh- the shape it. I don't know you how to do it. You feel some pushback. Being paid, the people's boxes are different. Some have like you, you know, know carry on. Some have check in. Yeah, some have business. like you know undercarriage. <laughs> we cannot judge. You know, a box oh is a box is a box. The vagina is a mysterious thing. It's a mysterious organ. thing. We're still looking for that yeah. juice spot. So we've talked about um yeah. and then um okay <laughs> another thing with tampons again apart from it throwing off your pee it can also lead to what you call toxic shock syndrome. 
which is quite yes, bad. Yes, absolutely. Oh no, that can kill mm-hmm. you. So be it very. It can kill actually. Yes, yes, yeah. for real, for real, it can kill you. Yeah. And I think that was one of the biggest fears uh, I had when I started using tampons. But of course, it's more you find them more in teenagers, right? It's a life-threatening condition that can, you know, um, cause a lot of um, bacterial infections, and mm-hmm. um, you can it comes to high fever, low blood pressure, yeah, um, vomiting. Yeah. You can mm-hmm. end up having surgery to which like you know. So again, yeah, it, it, it's like your body's trying to get rid of the of back, um, the back um, the foreign body by releasing harmful toxins. So you have to be very careful. Mm-hmm. With, so again, remove those tampons and don't keep them for long. Don't try and be miser them. Your life is more important than whatever. Um, and and if you, and if also if notice, wise, yes, yes. Um, scented yeah. body washes. I love Bath and Body Works, but I can no longer use their um uh, their shower gels and all Why? that. Why? Oh, no, it's not that. good. It's not good for me. I use Sarah now. I, I, I don't use anything down there, but water. No, 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 even no, not just no, not just on the. Veg- I mean, I mean on your body. Because when you're washing really? your body with the inver- that's for me. Again, remember, I didn't say I was an expert. I'm talking about me. Right. Okay. You know, so I've switched to I Sarah. I always known this about, uh, um, you know, items of fragrance that you have yes, to be careful. Yes, yes, yes. I've switched to Sarah. Sarah has no smell. And I also noticed that with um, Bath and Body, because of the dyes on it, I mean, they tried, I think they are quite um, safer than most other brands. But I started having mm. what you call um, Kelaratosis, like, almost like chico- chicken skin. Like my skin's no like, strawberry, strawberry skin. Is it strawberry? No, That's not like, strawberry. It's chicken, no. Yeah, I'm looking at my legs. Pyra- Pyralis, yeah, it's, Pyralis. it's like this dark spot on your on the body. No dark. Mine was just raised. No, no, mine was raised. It was almost like I had goose pimples that were permanent. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Oh well. Anyways, I oh, stopped so again. The, 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 the street name is uh, strawberry skin. Really, I thought it was chicken something. Well, maybe yeah. I know. Hey, who knows? Like, hey, it's, a, it's a street name. It's Actually, yeah, strawberry right. skin, you're right. I thought it was chicken something. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes, no, even if you shave, like you can have ingrown, ingrown hair. So, yeah, ingrown hair. So, I stopped using and I started using what you call CeraVe Rough and Bumpy. Um, okay. I love CeraVe. It's it's very, um, um, uh, what's the word? It doesn't have, it, it's, it doesn't react to you with your skin. And um, yeah. um, it also has sal- salicylic acid. It's, mm. it, I mean, it's just very natural. I mean, no, when I say natural, it's it doesn't have a lot of smell. And when it doesn't, so it doesn't all have of their smell, products or is most that, of is their products. All or just, but for that, because okay. I tried so many things for that, because when I saw that color, that um, keratosis pilaris, my I was really worried about myself because I thought it was, you know, you know, I start thinking like, is it hygiene issues? I know I'm, I'm not like a dirty person, yeah, I have, I have but it really, yeah, but no, I try that. the um, it's a, there's a they have a bar, they have a lotion. So it's called, and they have a fish shower. It's called the SA cream and rough and bumpy. You know, they have different colors and there's a purple, there's a green. There's, this one is light blue and it's rough and uh, bumpy and it works wonders, you know. For those, I, I know. So here's going to be my own, because uh, I've, I've experienced it. And I, didn't, I didn't think it was a problem. I just thought, oh my goodness, I don't really like this, right? I wasn't thinking anything you know, health-wise. Yeah. Anyway, what I do, what I've observed is that when I use shea butter, if I use uh, any other lotion, it does not take care of it. But once I start to use shea butter, it's just smoothing it out. Like yeah, natural shea know. butter or the ones that they do? Yeah. No, shea butter from, from Ghana or from Nigeria. Uh, uh. Mm-hmm. That's why anytime you go to Nigeria, what am I, what am I always asking for? Shea butter. Anybody goes to any part of Africa, I always ask, please bring my shea butter for me. Yeah. So that's yeah. what I use. And yeah. I find that it really helps. Plus, I use the scrubby... The really scrubby sponge. I from, see. And my guardians will call it, uh, what's it? What's um, it? We call it a Konkwa Wawusa. The, uh, I know the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, I, by the way, I'm selling those. I have some. Oh, no, uh, so, you person. guys want to buy just patronized being quick. But no, you know, not everybody. Yes, I have some people that listen to this might not even be Nigerian. I'm mostly not Nigerians as well. Right. So, we need to be able to yeah. give them options. But it helps. It helps with exfoliation. Yes, that's so like an exfoliation scrub. Scrub. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Is, what's it yours made out of? Like, what kind of? What's it made out um, of? It's plastic. It's just. Um, Oh, okay. I think it's, it's plastic. Okay. I, wait, hold on, let me. I because I, I actually okay. wanted to. Why be are sure. looking at it? I also want to share another point to be um public hair, uh-huh. public hair. Oh yeah, that. Oof, now you don't God. want to go all Brazilian. I don't think Brazilian wax is very uh, yeah. healthy. You need to keep some <laughs> hair on there for like you know yeah. maintain a good barrier, right? Because the mm-hmm. hair serves to like you know um prevent you know bacteria from really seeping in. But the question is, how much is too much hair? 
for me, I don't yeah. know if I keep like a little bit of a skin cut, not too shallow, not too deep. Because like, mm-hmm. when you have too much hair there, for me, again, this is my person. It's too much. Mm-hmm. With the sperm activity going on, it just makes yeah. it makes the you know postsexual thing. The smell, yes, it traps it. So you have to like clean twice as hard. So again, try mm-hmm. to um yeah, try to groom yourself. But again, don't scrape everything out because you need to maintain some form of um barrier, which is kind of good. It's healthy to have some hair. But the question is, how much hair is yeah. too much hair? All right. Um, um, when you, when you can when you feel like you can braid it, that's too much. <laughs> Really, you six inches. <laughs> Go ahead. You're gonna, you're gonna when, when it's long, you do a small puff puff. Uh, we, we no. stop that. Go, Didi, <laughs> like, um, no, like Didi, like, yeah. You know, like, like trying to grow your hair and then you have to put in small puffs. Like a little bit no. of it. No, when it's time, it's time. Like, even if I'm talking to you, I'm trying to make sure. <laughs> Look, I'm checking, like, uh, <sighs> no. And then when you're on your period and you, you have... Too much hair down there. It's just gross. Yeah, yeah. Or when you're wearing the pants, like when you wear your pants and it's showing on the sides, that's too much hair. Yeah, and it's just like it's pushing it's against pushing the fabric out. in front. And you look like you have twice the size of a vagina. Yeah, that's too like much hair. Fat vagina, because some people have fat, fat vag- <sighs> vaginas. Buffy and one. it's not if your vagina is fat and it's just the the hair just pushing against. No, no. if it's if it's busting at the seam, that's, that's too much hair. Oh, mm-hmm. another thing I want to yeah. say is laundry detergent. Some oh, yeah, fabric softener, one. some oh, scented yeah. laundry mm-hmm. that they can actually irritate your skin. So again, yep, be very absolutely. careful. And I know, mm-hmm. like, how much how much of this do you want to even keep? You know, again. Um, I'm not sure why you want. To know, so what can I now use? Exactly. Can I now like, use? just go, just go <laughs> naked. Go commando, right? Um, synthetic matcha. I think we talked about this earlier. Exactly. On. Yeah. Um, wear cotton underwear if you can. Like, if like can. synthetic materials and those pretty lacy pants. We know it's good for setting the mood. But they don't allow love. Um, I say love. They don't allow air to flow through, and they can trap. Yeah, they don't. They're very pretty and sexy, yeah, but not yeah. good for. Like, like for, case in point, like that organic. When I was telling you about the cutting, you're looking at thirty-five dollars. Didn't pay thirty-five dollars wow. for just one organic no, organic no, cutting no, brief. Just one. No, Girl, one. Just one. Hey, okay. In this economy. Yeah, I know. Uh, let me just well, we just got, glass and just tight, keep yeah. every three months like uh, your toothbrush, ni. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Because <laughs> Walmart is like it's cheap, like twenty dollars. You yes, get a set yes, of six yes, or nine, yes, or something. And yeah. then some food you actually just, eat. Some food you eat can I also. Think, I think also that food should have separate underwear for for periods. Of course, yeah. God, I, like my period, God, I have like grandma pants. Like it's not even sexy at all. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's not about being sexy, it's about functionality because I have a heavy yeah. flow. I don't want to be leaking like, you know, somebody mm. that, is, that is in trouble. Um, oh, I was going to talk about diet that you eat, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spicy mm-hmm. food and some sweet Very food. Some spicy food can actually cause your, um, increase your vaginal discharge, which can also increase yeah. vaginal odor. And I hate to, mm-hmm. I hate to mention this person. Not I hate, but I can't believe I'm referencing but Kim Kardashian once said something and I, I, I've ag- I agree with her because I'd known this for a while. If you eat pineapples, mm-hmm. it can actually help to sweeten the odor. You know. I've tried that. So for some of you that you have you like to for your box to be eating, this would be something that can help your partner, you know, for that. <laughs> but food like garlic, onions, yeah, curry, <laughs> asparagus, they can actually cause vaginal odor. Um and that it's, 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 it's Even it's, coffee. It's, when I drink coffee, I, it actually smells in my pee. I actually wow. smell it. Yeah, I can that smell deep. coffee on me, yeah. And then some fruit mm. like this. I don't know if you know this durian fruit. It's an mm. oh that thing smells like death, but it's really sweet. It has an ice cream taste, but it smells offensive, you know. My God. And then drink uh. enough water. Um, alcohol and smoking not good. Again, we've talked about this. Um, you might not be your your partner's sperm might not be compatible with you. You can have yeah. the m- most mind blowing sex ever. But then sometimes the pH level of their semen can also alter the natural balance of your own vagina. So again, I know this not from experience, <laughs> but from <laughs> yeah, but from reading about it and just hearing other people talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's very important. I mean, and that's why I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. When I first heard that, I was like, oh my god. So I have to now start. You know, that's that should be part of my prayer points. Yeah. When I'm praying for a life partner yeah. now, like Lord, let please let, let, let first of all the spice. <laughs> <laughs> Let the size of girt, and then now we have to pray about the semen I too. To be, I, want, I want good sex. I want good size. You know, good I use want good of sex, the good size cane. and good uh, release. And then let's be con- compatible. Like, it should not bother my. It should not make me sick. Because literally, some people get sick when a guy comes in them. 
Is that my not, goodness. Is that not, when is I, that I, not, I was like, oh my God. Like, why, this why, is a prayer I've never heard that before. What do you mean by sick? Like, they throw up or what? They, they are sick. Like, so first of all, they, of course, that entire area is just so fishy. Like, hey something God. is dead, run, rotting away. And then, of course, when maybe they start to have a fever or something, I was like, what? Like, toxic shock. Mm. Yeah. You know someone that that happens also. Mm, who i'm asking you've heard that happen to somebody before no i haven't it was just people talking it was i, I think it was it was a talk show and people oh, were just talking so, about yeah, it because i've never read it before but i imagine it's, it's yeah as I was, I was again i'm not indulging in that kind of activity right now so i mean so i mean you have to keep up with information i know so, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah you got to know you got to know yeah yeah you got to know now we're not we need to start making so <laughs> you, you have to be pacific <laughs> you have to be pacific at this one because all hmm, yeah so yeah so i what else what are we talking oh yeah, yeah. talking about also the, the, the sponge material is uh nylon oh yeah, yeah, yeah so i guess i was yeah yeah, yeah. I, know, I said plastic plastic yeah, yeah 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 but girl, we need to talk about that thing you told me about what is it so i told you about tampons but you told me about that other thing we can wear during our period you want to share share that with the audience Yeah, yeah. So, um, for people, for me, I think that I, it's um, so. <laughs> I guess I can talk about this um, story. So, my first, <laughs> this is serious TMI. When I first started my period, I didn't want to. I was here to my mom, um, so I came up with this whole. I, this uh, we had this um, Ankara material at home, so I thought Ankara you know, is just like a fabric, like a cutting fabric. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, mm-hmm. so I tore some, some part of it off and I, you know, just fashioned out something to absorb Why the, the blood. Mom? Why are you scared to your mom? We thought you were doing something bad. I don't know, I was just at the time my mom was not, we were not we didn't, we didn't have that we're kind very of close. Uh, okay, okay, I see, like, I see. We were close. And she was, she was, she was my mom like she was a parent. She I wasn't see. a friend. Because again, we hadn't transitioned yeah, uh-huh. we hadn't tried, I was what 11 years old or so. Uh-huh. We, we hadn't transitioned into that at that time. So, and I think Accidentally, she kind of sort of found no, it. No, find, like, find, find it. <laughs> Mothers yeah. always and know. Then, <laughs> and then, of course, when you live where I live, where you don't have too much space, girl, we need to have a separate school. conversation about that place, <laughs> girl. We need to. Right. Let's go on. All right. <laughs> and so it was. Um, so for me, that was my first experience with that. Of course, eventually, I transitioned. I transitioned rather to using a pad and now uh these days i use the the reusable pad yes i find that it's healthier it's um um i'm not worried about chemicals you know seeping into my body um slowly or gradually but I, which is very hypocritical because I, I use a tampon but I mean, still, I use you know for people like a tampon that they don't cut it you will still leak in it. yeah you still leak yeah <laughs> but here's the answer thank god that things are Some shifting use, and changing um, cups but I don't. I, I don't know because my friend messy, told me about yeah. it. I don't, yeah, I don't like touching. But yeah. you have to be home for that, or maybe you don't. Maybe on a day when you're not flowing heavily, so some people yeah, for, yeah, for us yeah, have yeah, you know yeah. heavy flow. Girl, how? No. I say you want to go into a, 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 a stall in the bathroom. And stuff. You now look like somebody that just committed murder in the bathroom, Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, ah, no, 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 no. Maybe if I'm home, I could try it. No. But I just, I just, I don't know because my friend says that oh, since she started using it, that you know she's she's not cramping as badly. Um, and of course, she's obviously saving money as well. She's not buying tampons or anything like that. So, but but now she has to be. She's a prisoner in the house. But thankfully no. for her, she works from home, so it works for her. For someone who doesn't work from home, I'm not taking that chance. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Maybe convenient and all that. So, and, but I feel my flow is heavy. I, I don't know how they do it. Yeah. I really don't. So, know. I, but it, it lasts. But here are the things again. The same way we talked about um, um, tampons, you have to make sure that you're cleaning these things. You can't just soak them like rinse. You have yeah. to run, like what I do again. If you walked in on me doing this, you think I just murdered somebody? Because there's a lot. Of oh, blood. you have it. Good, and I bought it. You told I told you I bought it. You you recommended? It. Yes, I have. Oh, I recommend the cup to you. Not the cup, George. Ah! The cloth. No, not the cup. The cloth. Oh, the cloth. Okay, yeah, the cloth. Yeah, the yeah, cloth. The yeah. Usable plant. Oh no, I no, I'm not yeah. using. No, I don't like. See, I don't like touching. No, no, it's just so much. No, I know. It's just so much. I it was so just much. Me. I just want to get the over first with. Day, just, I've been I've been having my period since what? Since I was eleven. Mm-hmm. And then all these new things. No, oh, no, no. I still am ghost now. I'm good with tampons for now and that thing. So. The thing I like about this um this um cloth pad is that you can snap them on and they have different sizes mm-hmm. depending because again yeah. another thing people don't know is that the kind of pad you wear the, 
depends on just the shape of the vagina and also the mm-hmm. flow. Because take for example, um, always infinity, the size one, two, three, four. And I wish mm-hmm. you because you can be wearing the wrong pad. You wouldn't know that, mm-hmm. right? So and let's go back to the state. Exactly. And then depends on how you also sleep and the flow of the shape of your vagina. How do I put it? Suppose vaginas are, are higher up than lower. Like just the way their oh. pads. Yes. So you have to make sure that you are putting it very well. Like where the flap sits. And for me, it took a lot of trial and error. And if you keep staining your... I mean, it's just very tacky at this age of mine to be still be staining my bed. But once in a oh, while it yeah. happens. And it's so stressful. Because I have a very I heavy... Know. It's so stressful. It's so ah, stressful. Oh and now because like someone is bed wetting. I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning. So anyways... um. This um, cloth pad, you kind of snap on in your pants, right? Mm-hmm. And when you're done using them, again, the way you change your tampons every four hours, take them out. And mm-hmm. I like them because they don't, they never leak. I, I yeah. run them through my no, sink. Unless you are it's unless super heavy and you change on time. Yeah, yes, yes. And that means you have to change them more frequently. I run them through yeah. my sink, like rinse them out until no more blood yeah, is showing. Mm-hmm. Then I toss yeah. them into my um, my laundry bin and I run them yeah. with my, my, my clothes right yeah. and the heat from the dryer has to clean them out that's how you it's clean just, them yeah. when you wear them yeah. let them not be wet because when they are mm-hmm. wet they're gonna no. increase the risk of um infections to you right Absolutely. because at the end of the day your blood doesn't it's not your menstrual blood is not just blood it's other things it's you know other yeah. things that are coming out of it and if you mm-hmm. don't do them very well they can also increase your um your risk of toxic shock syndrome and please yep, don't use sea sponges. I know those things are coming up now. People are trying to be vocal. What is- it's kind of like a match people use, you know, for in, 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 that sea spo- like concon, like sponges, like uh-huh. yeah, sea sponges. They can shove it on. No, please. Why? Why? I I blame Gwyneth Paltrow without her goop and the yoni eggs that she's always skinning. So women again. I just wonder why. Why do you want to put anything in there? See, if I if I didn't have to wear, because you guys know I'm so anti bra and and anti bra, but I have to wear because I don't want to disrupt society. If I could get away without having to even have a period anymore or even wear anything, show anything out there, I would just be as happy as a bird. Yeah. Because every other thing is just extra. There is a way to not have a period. Yeah. So we I still, you know, you still have a child if you want to. Right, right. Oh, I know we go through a lot as women, but because for me, eh, when it. when that area is not sunny quite well, it affects my mood. You know, I'm mm-hmm. not my confident self. I'm so you, that's the word. Girl, because that guy's so sad. Nah, 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 I'm <laughs> sitting so tightly. I'm putting yes. like, my my legs yes. up because I don't, I don't you know, I'm yes. not comfortable. That's why, that's why I go with the spray. Whether I'm smelling or not, I'm spraying. If at my in my office, they know me. Like who? Yes. Like, what's that beautiful? Oh, it's all a bimpe. In my yeah. gym bag, I have a, I have a, I have a body spray. I have a, a my my carry on perfume, and again, yeah. even when because even with the workout clothes, because you know we're only wearing them x amount of hours in the day. Don't mm-hmm. be tempted to just keep wearing the same thing over and over again. Just change them. If you, can. Things. you know, yep. change them mm-hmm. if you can. And yes, after this- I mean, we're not we're not saying go, you know, go out there and splurge. Matter of fact, you can go to a thrift store. They have these things there. Yeah, yeah. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't have to break the bank. Have... Yeah, it doesn't have to break the bank. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know we spent um, a lot of time on on just you know talking about um like the vagina and all that, but there are other areas that are small. Let's talk about the the armpit and then like body odor in general and also mouth in odor in the mouth. <sighs> Yeah, so that one I'm very particular because for for you know with a mouth odor mm-hmm. sometimes you cannot even smell it. You don't know somebody somebody that loves you has to tell you. Yeah, so like because sometimes I mean if I'm very close to someone, obviously I'll go near the person and ah, in their face. <laughs> <laughs> Lipe, Lipe, like, yeah, the kind of I, friend I, I like to have, but you know, not everybody wants to. No, not everybody will, will want no, that. That's why I said, just not ready. Be, I definitely have to be comfortable with you. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah, not just yeah, going to do yeah, it anymore. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be like, wait, is my breath kicking? Because I, I need to, I need to know. And that's why I do bottle. Ah, let me tell you, girl. I, I when people start wearing masks, I'm, I'm. Look, it was I, one of my best times. One of my it was best not times. The best time for, it, Oh, it was okay. Yes, it was one of my best. Kidding me? It was one of my best times. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because that you know you didn't have to deal with it, yeah. and then people could smell what they were, what, what we could smell. Mm-hmm. Some people were smelling. All this well. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, okay, well, I know we're laughing, but it's really no. It's, it's not, not funny. funny. It's distressing. 
because it, it's it's um it's it's distressing for people who are smelling it and also for the person who or has it's it yes, yes. Out because sometimes it could be a spiritual again we're africans <laughs> we're gonna talk about it <laughs> that came from nowhere <laughs> It could be a spiritual issue. How do you say? Let's be very clear for those that don't really know. Like somebody just attacks you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it could be like a sense of offense, kind of chase away from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, people are wicked. They don't want to marry. They don't want to have you know any clothes like. <laughs> they don't want to have. They don't have juicy smelling good box. I know. <laughs> they don't want to talk about this beautiful experience of interacting with with regular people. They are wicked. They don't want to have destiny helpers. They want to chase everybody away from you. So literally, literally. <laughs> yeah. So they are, they are wicked people that they you know they oppress people with these you know things. I, I've heard about it. Yeah. yeah. Um, We're just laughing. On a serious note. Yeah. On a serious note. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah. I know, it's and not some people, it's a medical. It's a medical issue. Yes. Yes. Some people, it's a medical issue. So, yeah. But you know, but how then? How then do you tell someone that they have a mouth? How do you do it? Oh, no. I've never done I've offer, it. I'll offer gum. Hey, do you want a piece of yes. gum? Oh, have I'm you? Girl. If anybody offers you gum, take it. No, but hold on, hold on, do no, Hold on. Don't you go. Sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, when I go through ketosis, you know, like mm-hmm. now that I'm trying to watch my diet and I'm, you know, being all very good, when you don't eat, sometimes mm-hmm. you have bad breath from ketosis. No, yeah, oh yeah, when your mouth is just yeah, 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 yeah just when that's not, but it's not mouth, but it's it's not like mouth odor, but it's not like a chronic thing. It's not. Just like, hey, I've been not eating. Now you want some more? I think you drink some water, you know. But again, it depends on the person. If I really care about that person, I'll just actually say, hey, "Have you not eating today?" You know, yeah. And and usually, the person knows. Oh, yeah, my, yeah, yeah. It's fine a little bit. You want to drink some water? Yeah, yeah have some so water. Gum, I'm kind of bottle of water. So for me, if I know maybe I'm, it's a time of you know I'm waiting. I'm you know tr- observing a fast. Yeah. I always make sure I have a bottle of water. Yeah. Not and then the girls will say, "Hey, you can't fast with that." Please, and, and you're please, drinking please, water. please, 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 please. please. No, she's she 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 for more than that. For what? <laughs> so, you, I'm, I'm not saying she should, you know, uh, consume a whole gallon of uh, water of uh, of water while you're fasting. But just, you know, take a sip every now and then, just to keep your mouth fresh, keep it moving. Chew. Sometimes chewing bubble gum. I mean, for me, I chew gum a lot, so it doesn't really bother me a lot. Yeah. Even on an empty stomach, I'll still chew my gum. And I will not be bloated. Yeah. But that's because I've been, I'm, I'm a gum chew. I'm yeah, an some expert. Some like gum. But they also have, um, yeah. this, there's, there are breast strips you can Bring have. Me. People's yeah. strips, you just put them under your tongue and it dissolve, right? And that's it. And then, again, water. Yes. yes. If you don't want any of that, you just want to, you know, you'll say, oh, I want to observe it real fast and all that. Yeah. No, bottle of water. Just, you know, put it in your mouth every now and then. Just a little bit. Yeah. You don't need a lot of water in your mouth. Just swish it around. Yeah. And yeah. just keep your mouth um, fresh. So I guess that's, that's a big one. one. way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Offer them a bottle of water. Offer them mint. Offer yeah. them. And look, I'm, no, seriously though. If someone offers you gum. Just take it. Like without you Don't asking, ask. take it. It's like code. Like, take it. It's, it's like because code. they're trying to help you. Please. Yeah, it's a code. It's like somebody it's comes to church and gives you like a blanket to wear. Your pants are showing. Just take it. Don't, yeah, don't yeah, argue. They see you shivering. And then they give you a bunch of take it. No shivering. Like uh-uh. you open your butt in church and somebody gives you a blanket. And then, <laughs> oh, there's that. There's that one. You know. And I think for, for most people that have bad breath, it's not everybody. But in some cases, it could be dry mouth. Because when your mouth is yeah. dry, chances that it might be smelling. So, oh, like, you know, I lied. I lied. Now that you mentioned dry mouth, I remember when my mom was taking this particular medication and it would just uh, dry her mouth. Also, and yeah. then her mouth. Probably it's a cholinergic agent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. and I saw some mommy, I saw mommy, any last my mommy. Yeah, like, drink water. Because uh, because some that has xylitol in it, like Listerine, Comin, yeah. some dry yeah. mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. So I have to tell, I remember now, so I did, but that's my mother. And um, my mom, we talk about everything. Yeah. So yeah, I told her, she said, hey, queen, hey, oh, thanks for telling me. Yeah, we yeah. talked about yeah, it. Yeah, again, I remember. and I can imagine that when some person like, you know, has like a, a senior status in life, like a, a parent or a spouse, somebody mm-hmm. that you look up to, these are sensitive issues. So make sure you're coming yeah. with good receipts and letting them know, because this is something I want, I want to know from people that care about me. You yeah, know. not a strange. And don't make them feel bad for telling you, because guess what? If you castigate them, they're not going to tell you next time. And you're going to go no, out no, in no. public. 
and you'll be yeah, able to buy so many you're things. Yourself. Yes, yes. And then yeah. I also want to say is that halitosis could be also an issue. You know, halitosis is a medical. Like, ha- yeah, halitosis is a medical, medical condition. Yes, where you know you just um, it's bad breath. You know, it's it could be yeah. it could be there are many causes. You know, to it, it could be from yeah, food, it could be from poor dental hygiene, it could be infection, it could be you know, medications. Yeah. But go see a dentist if it's something that you've tried, you've brushed your teeth. For this kind of people, make sure you brush at least two minutes in a day. I have a toothbrush. I don't have bad breath, but I'm very particular about my 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 dental hygiene. Mm-hmm. I have a toothbrush that it's an electric toothbrush and it brushes my teeth like I, it divides your mouth into six regions three on top three below and by the time you are done brushing up and down and back and forth you spend two minutes and they say it's a long is as amount the amount of time you need to sing the happy birthday song yeah, happy birthday yes. yeah you also want to use the fluoride toothpaste you can also use a tongue scraper because a lot of that smell comes from your tongue fyi yeah it's a tongue it's a tongue, it's a tongue. that yeah. large surface yeah, area so place is a tongue yeah, my friend talked about the tongue scraper so yes. i bought one and then floss an, yeah. hey and oh, i think yeah, what has really helped me when i started getting braces you can but i've learned how to floss i can't even eat anything mm-hmm. now without flossing you know, yeah. you floss at least once a day. Please, and floss before, before brushing, though. No, it's Don't not brush. No, you floss you before floss. you brush. Okay. Yeah. So what you are doing is that by the time you floss, it brings out everything, and then the brush just takes yeah. everything out. And then your brush is like, yeah. And mm-hmm. please use fluoride toothpaste. Um, for and I'm again, we're not experts. Again, this is what I've been told by my dentist. You want to use a medium, um, um, medium bristle, like not too soft, not too hard. Like this, yeah, right, be, yeah, yeah, right, and then get regular dental checkups. Right. Get regular every three months, and then change your toothbrush. You can have three infection. Months. You can have infections in your teeth. You can also have maybe like caries, or maybe there's a cavity somewhere that can also cause yeah, your teeth to be Yes, yeah. my my again, my toothbrush mm-hmm. is a Philip toothbrush. It was a bit pricey. I don't spend that amount of money on. T- it was two hundred and something bucks. Even as I say, it's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. But guess what? After when when it's time for me to change the head, it tells me. Yeah, it tells me. Everything I can yeah, charge it. It tells me. It tells me. It, I even have an app. As I'm brushing my teeth, mm-hmm. it tells me the area to focus on. If it's not white, if it's yellow, I have to go back and wash that area again because it tells you where if you've done wash a good it job. Brush it. Yes. <laughs> so for that, then me. And I have, I have white. I have bright. I have a, the one for the tongue as well. It has sensors built mm-hmm. in, in between, and it tells me the right pressure to use and the right movement. Like it's checking in real time as you're brushing your teeth, and it tells me how many brush uh, how many cleans i have in a particular bristle so by the time i'm done i have to change it the light is, is blinking yeah. yellow it's time for me to switch it yeah. out so again mm-hmm. those things are important to know. anyway <laughs> um so back to what we're saying so it was it was sometime um i think it was sometime last year you know when you brush your teeth mm. don't um don't rinse your mouth just leave it i thought ha, huh, what's a good day you know you actually leave it in i, I heard that like, when you brush it there's no point you know rinsing it out and a, a dentist actually, actually you know supported the idea I was like oh Mm-mm. so I find that uh. you don't swallow it no 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 don't get me wrong when you're done brushing your teeth like all of all of that is out of your mouth you don't rinse your mouth you leave it there <laughs> for a few minutes <laughs> no the only thing I can do is when I go for my dental cleanup they put fluoride in my teeth and I leave it on that's about the only time I'll do that, but I'm sorry. No, I don't even leave. I don't leave anything toothpaste on in my mouth. I'm saying when you're done brushing, you know how you're done brushing. Yeah, and, and people people uh will, will pull one of their mouth and off. And then feel apparently like yeah, I, I heard I that, that. I, that it's not, and that's why a dentist, maybe it's Nigerian dentist. They you know confirm that. I think, that I think if it has fluoride in it, yeah, because again. I imagine that this is how, what they try to imitate. Every time I have my dental cleaning, it's I opt right, in yeah. for fluoride. They'll put the fluoride treatment and tell me not to yeah. drink anything sticky, chew anything sticky, yeah. or drink anything hot and leave it there. I imagine. Yeah. But you have to have a certain amount of fluoride in your toothpaste for you to be able to do that. Right. If you're not so, using I mean, a fluoride wait, toothpaste, then it, 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 it belies the, the importance I of... Think- I think people, I guess there are different kinds of stuff. Oh, you can wait at least 20 minutes before you rinse your mouth out if you want to be. Or well, something. Yeah, but anyway, so. We're not dentists, so that one is just. The dentist can come and take this part out. No, no, we can still leave, no, we can leave it out. It's still the point of. You, you, you read, you're not recommending it because you, you did it. You heard it. Yeah, you actually referenced the point where you got it from. And I'm liking yeah. that to my own dental visit. That's what they tried to mean. Right. Okay. But I'm saying that. I, I, yeah, let, me, let me even Google it. I have a feeling that you have to have fluoride. Like a, a yeah. constricting amount of fluoride in your toothpaste for that point to be relevant. Okay. Well, but anyway, but yeah, so I did, I did ask my dental hygienist and she was like, yes, 
So, but she didn't, like, you know, of course, she's not, uh, she's not going to instruct you because yeah, she doesn't want to, yeah. to quote her. Yeah. But so I said, oh, is this, is this a thing? And she said, yes. Yeah. And so, again, I didn't ask, you know, any further questions outside of that. So, yeah, yeah I do it. When I'm done brushing my teeth, I don't rinse out. Of course, I drink water. Yeah. After, after a while. So, maybe for a few minutes is what, you know, we should clarify. Leave it up for a few minutes. And yes, then and then go back. Day. Yes, you want to leave that cotton in it. Yes. Yeah. Because, yes. girl, mm-hmm. like, because it's still food it's a good point. Yes, 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 yes. It's a good point. So, anyway. Yeah. Now, you know, yeah. Hmm. Rushes. Oh, before I forget, <laughs> like even with the the jeans, like make sure you wash your jeans properly because that can also cause your your box to smell for women. Let me tell you what I do because I don't want my jeans to fade. What? So <laughs> because if you wash it too often, it starts to fade. Yeah. I wash that area. If any any oh, just that pants area, I'm wearing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Do, I wash just that area. Yeah. Same way, even when I wear like my tops, I wash my armpit area because sometimes you leave your clothes in your your, your laundry basket for like a week. Yeah, and it's just there, and then that's when it's just sitting there, just you know, getting you know, so yeah. Uh, what's that word? It's just sitting that's there. Like, yeah, yeah. You just sit there, and then your the material starts to you know fully absorb it. So what I do is I wash out the the. Uh, armpit area, then I leave it in my laundry basket. And I think I also do. Like, if that washing is that, you can place your jeans in like a ziplock bag, right? Wow. And then toss some um, baking soda in it. Oh, interesting. Yep. And just. But how big of a ziplock bag do you have? Yeah. Or maybe a bag that just that can create that sealing effect and then seal it overnight, okay. right? The tighter the seal, the better. And that you know, okay. baking soda absorbs a lot of smell. That's why I put it in the fridge. Yeah, like, right, right. Yeah. And yeah. you're not done. By the time you're done, you put your big, you put your jeans inside the in your fridge. When you're right, and then take out the jeans that. and shake out the baking soda and to be Ain't smelling nobody fresh. got time for that. Just wash it. Oh, just you guys like put it inside your freezer. But I don't want to put my. I don't like to mix my clothes. Who has time for that? I don't have space in my really freezer. Come, Please come up with different Just things. wash that area mm-hmm. and just hang it. You don't have to wash. The entire jeans because my I try to prevent it from fading yeah, too fast. Yeah, yeah. I, and, and I'm talking about jeans. This is so annoying. You <laughs> go to a uh, place like Nordstrom to say, Oh, I want to buy quality jeans, and then you wash it oh, once, wash fading. it twice. Yeah, hey, how dare you? I was shrink. Almost 70 dollars worth of it. 70, shrink. 80. Uh-uh. Hey. Is this anyway? That's, that's another story. Insults. 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 Okay, maybe I shouldn't spoil their brand. Really, black and white. But my experience with their jeans, black and white. Fades. Black and white, yeah. I like, them, and white I like them. I love them. But their jeans, though. Like I don't black, mind their jeans. I bought their black dresses jeans. and their, um, their, their So tops. those will fly. Those will fly. But they, it's their jeans I have an issue with. It just uh... it fades too fast. It fades too fast. What's the point of spending so much money on, you know, a pair of jeans from there? You think you're buying quality, and then it's fading, and then before you know, it's looking like a uh, faded. You know where I get my jeans from? Don't laugh at me. Costco I mean, and I'm Samsung. I'm going with my Samsung and Costco. Yeah, this is what I to carry clothes. And Tajé. My sister. Tajé. Tajé has very like good jeans. Tajé has good jeans. You know, I'm, I'm like, wait, maybe I should start looking into the... These All days, of I my workout gears from Sam's Club or Costco. From Sam's Club. Sam's Club, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. So Sam's Club, you know, kudos to whoever... Well, well, I don't know who your uh, wholesaler is, but um, good material. I know Sam's I, Club differs by where you live, right? It is. Well, yeah. I live in a nice neighborhood, so thank God for that. So, yeah, yeah. And even if I don't, yeah. I would drive to that neighborhood and go because they can't stop me. <laughs> or you can shop online. That's also very central. I, I don't like shopping online for clothes. Yeah. For food, yes, but clothes, no. Because if it doesn't fit, now you have to return it. Now you have, ugh, just too much of a hassle. Yeah, yeah. So, but you know, do, yeah, again, just, um, do you use like what kind of, know, do you use all this baking soda? Because um, I know my friend told me about um there's native there's also um there's one loom 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 loom, loom yeah. yeah loom also helps and i also have some roll-on because it's, it's baking soda right that you can use yeah. but i know with the, the the armpit smell is because some people sweat if you're a profuse sweater you're more likely to have more um odor coming from there so yeah, yeah maybe mm-hmm. frequent showers right if you can manage yeah. that, not everybody can manage that. Uh, yeah, because yeah, some skin just, it just dries out. It dries out. Um, depending on the, on the time of the year, 
winter time is harder for people to summer power. summer summer uh, uh, summer is you sweat to sweat more in summer but then winter is you have yeah to in winter time you are yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so what i use i use i've tried um different uh natural um deodorant because again like which one? because of all Maybe their or which one? Um, uh, uh, so the first one I tried, I can't remember the name of it, but this one I'm using right now is Native. Mm. Um, I didn't like it. It um, it felt like it didn't they it didn't solidify well. So every time I would, you know, it would just melt, mm. it, and it had it was and it would not kick. It was, it was, and it was just it mm. was just it just I didn't like the consistent the, 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 the consistency, consistency yeah, of, yeah, and the, comp- yeah, the composition. Yeah, I didn't yeah, like yeah. it. So, and then also another another annoying thing that I now observe is you use the roll on, and then you can you do this, and you can smell yourself like why? Mm, 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 mm. So, <laughs> so now I use natives. Send the big guns, yeah. Then, yeah, I prefer I, natives I to use, coconut and then they have uh, i love the coconut um, i don't like the loom smell the loom smells actually the one of the loom that i use actually smells like body odor without your appliance so I, I think you know what i think it was loom that i used yes. the l-u-m-e one l-u-m-e one yeah, yes i like, like no this is not coming near me now. it's not coming near me maybe it's not for black it could, no it could have been the it could, it kind of like some sunscreen it could have been the it flavor could have, it could have been the flavor it could have been it could have been, <laughs> it could have been the flavor <laughs> That I use, but native. No, no, no. I'm sorry to talk like that. That's what I'm just, been, okay. just being funny. You can have any flavor that I use. I'm oh, sorry, the yeah, flavor, yeah, or the, the fragrance, the fl- fragrance, right? Fragrance step, yeah. So again, yeah. So I, yeah. So I would native is what I use now. I've, yeah. I, but so. But not everybody can afford like native because it's not cheap. It's not like well, actually no, you should be able to. They have mini deodorants. They have mini deodorants. Three twenty four dollars. Yes, no, yes, this yes. one is not mini. It's uh, it's a it's a pack of three. And uh, not many people can afford that twenty four dollar. But I'm saying they have mini ones like three dollars. So again, just try it. Uh, it might or, it might not work for yeah three dollars for the mini ones yeah. It might or it might yeah, not. You know you know so, what's one that see this this um hygiene hack. That's the one I talked about on, on YouTube. All this hygiene hacks. Um, what does people she, she do? Did, uh, she said she uses this uh, facial. The, what's it called? Hydro quinine quinine or something Hydro like that. for face, like for pimples and all that. And then, yeah, that's meant for your face. That she uses a wipe and that she doesn't use any deodorant. She doesn't sweat. Uh, blah, blah, blah. No, and no, then no. the dermatologist came and defeat um, that that that. No, um, no, no. That should like, just hydro on your face for that uh, for wiping. No, she said you can use it, but not for long. You can use it, but I mean, you can't. You, you can't on her face or where? No, she uses it to cleanse her armpit area because it, it's going to create problems for you in the long yeah, run. Yeah, my it, it, clog, it clogs your pore. Yeah, so that's why for me, I, even antiperspirants, I don't want it. Yeah, someone that has aluminum, I mean, we don't want to use that because they, no, they, they yeah. link to he, the heavy metals. They can also clog yeah. your pores and it can lead to some forms of. Um, I don't want to use that cancer word, but. They've linked some of them, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And so that's why for me, even uh, my, my shea butter, I rub it around there. I don't, there's something, shea butter works for everything. <laughs> it does, even for the hair. It is, uh, yeah, yeah. It's for hair, for your skin, yeah. for everything. Yeah. Really. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, the, uh, let me just put, there's no clear link between aluminum, like heavy metals, like aluminum and breast cancer risk, but there have been some studies. There are no strong epidemiologic studies are studies done in people but when they've used them looked at case controls which, which are not very very robust if you want to tease out like through experimental causes but they found out that there could be some link between antiperspirants that have aluminum and breast cancer risks right um so what should you now do i know a lot of um companies have started doing aluminum free so perhaps just you know yeah yeah but it does make sense because they block the sweat glands right to to keep your sweat from getting to the skin surface so they've theorized that you know if those those aluminum compounds might be absorbed by the skin and that can cause changes in the estrogen receptors of the breast cells and because estrogen can also promote the growth of both cancer and non-cancer breast cells they suggested that using these aluminum based compounds may be a risk factor for developing um, breast cancer. It's still a long shot. I'm just saying that if there's even a tiny fraction of it being absorbed, don't use it. If you tell me that this, this yeah. poison is going to cost point something something percent, I'm still not going to touch it. It's poison is poison, no matter yeah. the percentage. That's how I see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, if I'm talk- since we're on that topic, um, even for your hair products, so oh before God. now, I used to care. Don't, don't I stop relaxing care. your I hair, just... period. <laughs> No. Hey, someone's gonna fix on that. No, so for real. I'm not, for I'm real. Natural. 
Yeah, for real. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm not even talking about relaxing the, the hair right that, now. Let me, there's, let me just, there's a lot of things that can love. I don't know if you know about that. That can love me. What is it? Sorry, finish your stuff. I was going to tell you about the um um. There's a lawsuit now against that can love you. Ah, uh, how's black people this year? Yeah, for experiment. Oh. There's a lawsuit right now. There's a class action lawsuit. Mm-hmm. They filed them against um. um this was like two weeks ago. Um, um mm-hmm. that the hair as relaxer as cancers mm-hmm. has um been linked to um several uterine cancer. Now I don't mm-hmm. know if there's gonna be a claim or they can get anything substantial for that i'm just saying what has been but hair relaxers have been linked to uterine and breast cancers mm-hmm. and guess who is so, the Lord? black people black people honey I black people that me too i might cut my i went natural in 2016 so. and this was filed in illinois by the way it was brought by Evelyn Williams, Tabata Taga, Tameka Meadows, and it was what? It was filed in Illinois, the class action lawsuit. Uh, and they said those chemicals uh, can cause cancer, fibroids, and endometriosis. Oh my goodness. So all I these know, olive all oil this that can love it that we're using. So just be very careful with your conditioner, with your uh shampoo mm. that doesn't have par- parabens um in it in them. And um what the, I know about parabens, that's what I watch out for. Yes, yes. The rest yes. of it, I don't know. But lie, parabens, lie, lie, mm-hmm. lie, L-Y-E. Yeah, <laughs> it's a whole lie. So even in school, <laughs> but but lie itself is not. Um, this is lie you use it for soap making. Uh, my head is. Like, I make soap, soap. so uh, it's just. I, I think it's. Um, I think it's the again. I, I don't like to speak on what I don't know for yeah, sure, yeah. so I really don't know anything about that just yet. Yeah. So maybe we can talk about that some other time. So yeah, I'm just talking about products. Yeah, yeah. But please be careful out there yeah. when you buy your products. Yep. Be very careful. Yep. And if you can switch to what's it called a natural uh, deodorant, try. I don't know if anybody can afford it, um, but baking soda. I very just wash up that area. And the last but not the least, ladies, please wash your bras. We know that some brands we like. That, we know that some brands we like. They are usually the black bras, and those bras when they are dirty, we don't know. But once those bras, dark colored oh. bras, dark colored bras. If you are black like me, you like the black ones because it just melts. Yes, yeah, I love black bras. That's cute. You know that like. one? That one that is fraying at the very edge, holding on to dear life. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will have won the life out. It's, it's surviving on uh, on um, on good vibes and, and what's that? Good vibes and what? Um, I have no. Ah, good vibes and oh my god, there's a they, they, ah. I mean, I will have known this. Good vibes. He actually heard it from me. Good vibes and hashtag of hashtag of online something. Let's go on. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like, like, uh, uh, miss your co-host. We know. I miss, we I miss, miss, miss my co-host, co-host, but that's just, it's what it is. Yeah. Uh, let's go on. Let's go yeah. on. Good vibes are something. I forget. I forgot. Uh, this is it, but is it, it's actually an Arabic saying. Uh, yeah. You've heard it before. You probably heard it before. Yeah. If I have, I would But that bride is holding on to dear life. It's seen better it days. Is. If it comes back again in this world, it will not near you. If it came through <laughs> Amazon Prime shipping, it will be lost in transition. <laughs> if, you click, for me. if you click add to cart, it will say seller will say no longer available. <laughs> if they deliver it in front of the house, they'll come and no, steal it. I don't want to be delivered. It will not come. It will not come. Uh, that, it will not come. It will sink. It will have a true life story. <laughs> Wait till Musa go see for gate. So ladies, let's let's clean those brands, you know. Yeah, I mean, and, uh, I, I I understand, you know, finding a good bra and just not, it's hard. It is. For me, it's like finding a good man, bra, man. Finding a, I, I, even, I, even though I don't have big boobs, it's still it's finding not, a matters, good bra. It matters, it matters. I wrote a whole, yeah. a whole blog so about when, that. When you find one, you want to keep on face. One, you, just, you just keep wearing and wearing and wearing. But what I try to ensure to do is at least every once week. Once a week, week, right? Yeah, once I'm a week. I'm not going to say I watch my private two days, I don't. No, 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 no. I'm not an animal. You know, uh, I, I think I, I, I just, by by Friday yeah. when I'm you know getting up, getting off work and I'm getting home, yeah. I'm washing. I wish so I wish the bra industry would be more uniform. The size would be more as uniform as pants because I know my pants size anywhere I go the same. But bras, hey. a six B, you go somewhere yeah, and like, ah, and like it's, it's not consistent. Too much stress, it's not, they're they? not consistent with their sizing. No, 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 even even though their sizes, but it's just like it's it's, it's not consistent pants, across then, board then because their six B can be somebody else's thirty eight thirty eight G. It's, it's, it's annoying. You go into one store, you are size 12. You go into another store, okay, and you can wear it small. Kind of you, go, you know, it's just like... Because uh, it's a cup uh, size, and also the, you know, the waist, your... 
what's the word? Your, yeah, your, the weave. Your weave, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I know I, I understand. Mm-hmm. Trust me, I have some bras that they've been they they've lasted longer than my marriage. And that's <laughs> lasted quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> my bra is here. So what is going, going anywhere? anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, I know I need to go and get another one, but will I get the right size? Where are you going to find you the know? right size? And it takes a while for yeah. you to break into that bra. Her, what's, her, what's her name? What's her lady? Hmm. Victoria Secret. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. actually Victoria. Just... <laughs> and she, you, yeah. know, you know what oh, happens with Victoria? It's a secret. Every time I go to that store, they will size me up to give me. By the time I get home, be like, ah, they just tap my face it's and give like, me this bra. Uh, How do you win to me? Girl, uh, you know, I'm not getting some, 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 some that I, can't, I don't wear. I don't wear it. I was like, when I was in sport. It was the right. It was side. like jazz. Oh, like they they used jazz to collect that money from me, and I bought the bread and went home. <laughs> it was not. It was like no tell. Like what happened to me in the store? Between the store, going to the store and coming home, the price on the other side. It now yeah. looks like mm-hmm. I see. I'm just trying to sell products in the market, like a new. Yeah. Page. So that one bra. So I, I'm now stuck with that one black For life. bra. And it's a constant so reminder. Yeah. And it's expensive. You don't want to throw it away. So you, you right. keep hanging it in your wardrobe, like a reminder of your bad choices in life. <laughs> and then go back again the next oh, day and the same thing over and over again. Man, women, we're so blessed. Mm. We're so blessed. Uh huh. Anyway, so just yeah. Yeah, go ahead. You want to, to say something? It. Yeah, yeah. You, you feel like my cap. Floss. Huh? Oh, floss. <laughs> <laughs> floss and water. Water. Water is your friend. Everywhere. Up uh, down. Water. Actually, below for your mouth. For your heart. For your water. mouth. Ah, water is good and it's free. Water. Water is a is a uh, water. You, you don't get, get any. Enemy. Water uh-huh. doesn't have enemy like for last time. Like for last, you caught mm-hmm. it. You know, you sang it a while back. Water has no enemy. Water, water you is a get good friend. Enemy. Drink it, mm-hmm. then splash yeah. it on down it. Splash, splash it, you know. spray it. It's good for your hair. It's good for your hair. Yeah, hair. good for your yeah. uh, the hair. And whatever the hair source is, you know, under yeah. or above, just use water. Yeah. But seriously, it's guys. Now, and then oh, like, mm-hmm. since we're on the topic of hygiene, yeah. I mean, how often should people bathe? But well, it depends on you. And, and I know this okay. is very debatable. I'm not like to you. In the winter times, I do once every other day. Once every year? Are you kidding me? Once every other day. <laughs> ah, let me tell you. But I always, I always I wash my under. Like, I have to wash my under every day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. How about you? I mean, how like, often do you have a bath? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. So, so in, the, in winter time, it's hard because... For me, it, my, my skin gets really dry in the mm. wintertime. But thank God, shea butter comes to the rest. Thank you, shea butter. Right? It's like, you don't have all my shea butter plantation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I've, I, I, we're looking into it. Girl, uh, anyway, expand, expand, um, get that yeah, so, get your money. Yeah. But please, yeah. Even if you're not going to be fully submerged under the shower, you know, here, your armpits, behind your you're ears, down there. Behind your ears, your armpits, and your under. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> Yes. You should trap your oil. You're not like a little <laughs> oil or shell. That behind your ear, your navel, you know, those yes, areas. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Those are anywhere that, you know, it's the not... The sun doesn't shine. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. Please. In um, between your butt yeah, cracks. Your best. In between your butt cracks. In between, yes, my sister. In between. Yeah. Uh, Do what you can. Yeah. And because sometimes you can't afford to, you know, to buy all these expensive body sprays yeah, we get or it, we perfumes get or anything like that. We get then, it, we you know, get just, it. just like just simple hygiene, like water. Yep. Water. And then you're fine. You're fine with you know, water. Water and then oh again, we're selling the sponge. Yeah, yeah. How, much, just, girl? how much is the sponge, girl? So I'm um, still working on the package because I just got them. Okay. Um yeah, I'm thinking it should be a, maybe around 15. For how many? Um, so nothing to... For just one. Ah, these are really long sponges. Are they look fast? No, they're like long fast sponges? Um, no. Uh, it's the African sponge. Maybe you send us pictures so we can just, you know, include it to the... Um... Yeah, I'll send... Uh, yeah, I'll send... Yeah, yeah, I'll send pictures. It's the Africans. Oh, we've uh, just been over an hour, but... That's what happens when we're having girl, fun. Yeah. Girl, girl, we said 40 minutes, but this was I, think good. I was worried that we didn't have enough to say. Right? <laughs> I thought we were just talking, talking, talking. Like, oh. but, but we think, we think, we think <laughs> you guys will like this episode because we've not really, we don't really talk about these kind of issues, but they're very important. And I think it was important yeah, to be are. very vulnerable about things that we've gone through as well because yeah. it's not to be ashamed mm-hmm. of if anywhere smells, but no, the fun. lesson is how can you make it better? Because mm-hmm. you know, you know that your because confidence we, level goes down. We have a yes, we have a smell, but you know your confidence yeah. levels goes down when that smell is offensive, even to you. How much more those yeah. are around you? It's always 
nice to have that friend that can help you, to you know, start, tell yeah. you who's who will be on the screen and say, oh, is your, let me think your breath is kicking or, yeah, I think I can smell something. Kicking. You know, they'll be honest. I like with, that one. Yeah. So yeah. I just yeah, remember so. that quote, living on Inshallah vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Living on this channel, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, God willing, yeah. right? Yeah, so I think, uh, I, I think, I think that we hold girls or females to a higher standard of hygiene than we do with males. Say a guy is booming, we just say, What things, is booming? Oh, yeah. You need to say what that's a guy, but like, uh, it's just you can that smell them from okay. a mile. Booming means that someone that is progressing. I want to be sure, are they progressively smelling no, like, like a booming? Know. <laughs> now, you look at, look at, you can you, you can't be tell pacific, girl. You you be pacific. Okay, I see what you mean. <laughs> so I think that we should hold both um yes. sexes to the same standard yes. of hygiene. So guys, I mean clean your behind. <laughs> People are saying twice now. Use a deodorant. Yeah, or use water, a deodorant. When you go to the bathroom or water. No, no, no. Use deodorant, please. <laughs> and change your boxes. Yeah, please. And change your boxes. Like, my God. Like, we, we, we understand, bra. What's boxes? Ah, please change I mean, your boxes. It's, it's nice it's you like, mention that. Because yeah. the reason why we talked about girls, not because we're trying to hold girls to the highest standards, it's because we're girls. And I think we said that in the beginning. The only reason I can talk mm. about girls a lot because that's what I'm familiar it's with. Yeah, but I imagine that it costs a cost of course. Because yeah. I grew up with brothers, but you grew up yeah. with older brothers, so you're around them a lot, right? The issues yeah. I had with my younger brothers were them not keeping their space clean because boys can sometimes can be quite sloppy, and we know that. So it was just like yeah. clean your room and all that. But as far as the personal hygiene, because between me and the second one, like um, three years apart, and then the last one is like nine years apart, and it was just it's just a huge gap. So there were so many things I really didn't see, but yeah. I imagine for you, you saw a lot more. So I'm glad you brought that perspective yeah. to the podcast as well. But, but, you know, I had thank God for my brothers because. So these uh, other and my brothers were not dirty. Uh, so yeah, so I didn't really get that funky, <laughs> dirty boy smell. I did not. Yeah, you know. So, but I know that I have male friends, and I, I just think that they get away with yeah, you know, bad yeah, and poor yeah. hygiene because they're men. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. but nobody should have to live yeah, with poor hygiene, no. right? Again, yeah. No, just to say no. it again, like if your friend comes to meet you and say, hey. Um, do you want some water? Do you want some gum? Just take it as cool that they're trying to help you. Yeah. yeah, they're trying to help you. Mm-hmm. They're you trying know to how everybody will say, you How do you say that in English? <laughs> Kimi, 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 Kimi in public. Kimi yeah. Kimi yeah. Almost like cover me right now when mm. we're home, then for me to go out there and start learning the lesson. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, charity it begins does, at does, home essentially. It does. Yeah, yeah so. I like that. You know, we should know everybody should be accountable regardless of your gender. All that goes on not between. Own your smell. Mm-hmm. Own that smell. No, Take don't care own the smell. No, no, smell. You know what I mean? You have oh, a yeah, natural yeah, yeah, smell. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, we have natural smell. I'm saying don't let scent. it. Because smell is, yeah. I don't know, it's already <laughs> in play. Yeah. So we have a natural, we have, fragrance. Yeah, there's a, it was um, my first Natural or stones. Yeah. He said, yeah, I said it, it said there was my first uh, boyfriend then who made me aware that I have a great smile, and then also told me that I have this. My natural smell is he very said, nice. Was this sniffing me or ew? I mean, no. I, this was my boyfriend. Uh, okay. So, I, <laughs> you know, when you when you are hugging, when you are, there's a way you will hug your boyfriend yeah, and you're supposed yeah, yeah, to hugging, yeah, yeah. you know, and then they can smell. They put they put their, you know their noses around yeah. your neck and they can smell. Oh, them. I even forgot. Yeah, you know, have natural some, some perfumes are not good for your body. People don't know no, this. No, because they just yes. yes. body older. People oh, don't know this. We forgot to say that. that. that There's a the place in Paris where you can go. I, I've, I've been to Paris once, but I never went to, made it to that shop. You can go there. They will extract uh-huh. some of your um the sebum, like your skin sebum, like the oil from your uh-huh. skin, and they can create mm-hmm. like a personalized. I know some shops in Korea also have it. My sebum and big way can wear uh-huh. the same perfume, but it will smell differently on us. Some perfumes are not good for you. Of your, so yeah, you please your body ask again. around. Mm-hmm. If somebody looks like, what are you wearing? They look and have that look on your face. You know it's not nice. But if they're like, oh, what's the name of your perfume? <laughs> oh, I like the, you know, the compliment. So not all perfumes yeah. be good on you. And then I, I always combine. I always combine. Uh, so yes, I do that. So. I, and yeah, I'm lucky that it really works for me. You know. But some, yeah. I, I'm, me too. I've never had, 
because I have a, I have a very keen sense of smell. Oh yeah, God, you yeah. Never had like you know bad experience. <laughs> but in my eyes, people are already sensitive. Yeah. Or their their skin, their their body serum mm-hmm. is already somehow. Oh sorry, sebum. Or the the smell from you, it might not be compatible with the chemical in the perfume. So take, take note of that. It might not be. It might be yeah. something you're using. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's beyond you, you. literally. Like, <laughs> but you can be out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anything else, VK? Okay? No, I yeah, think that's okay. it. This was this was this was really nice. Not, Thanks. Stop. Appreciate you for yeah. coming to the rescue today. Anyways, girl, yeah. this was you know it's always fun talking to you. You know it's always fun. Just to, always, always fun to be. The side of me you bring out that I like. You know, <laughs> I'm anything but yeah. proper, but I like. Um, but as always, <laughs> this was. Um, and our last episode is very well. I think I told you that, right? We had so yeah, thanks to everybody that. who listened to it. And if you guys like this episode, oh, you think it, no. yeah, thanks being because you know that was that was you know um, every bit of you as well. So thank you so much for bringing. Um, thanks for having uh, me. Bring yourself to the show, but guys, we hope guys and ladies and everybody in between. Remember how I talked about everything that comes in between us, but in the but in the real sense of it, we hope to really gain one thing or two um, from this episode. And perhaps if you have additional questions you'd like for us to explore, because I love talking to my friend Bing Bay. Um, we have similar lived experiences, and she's somebody that I know she's very frank about things, doesn't like, like to be down the bush. She gives it like it's supposed to be given. Let us know. I will be more than happy to take your questions. All right, guys, to close us off, I will be playing this song by Coley titled Mine. I love the song and I think the lyrics is very befitting for today's episode. If you are yet to, go listen to the episode I did with Coley last week and also stream his music. The album is titled Welcome to My Joy and this song is one of the seven songs present in the album. And shout out to Coley for giving us the permission to use the song. You're the best, man. In any event, enjoy. My eyes are wide as space. They'll never be cute, I'll never be cute My hair is thick as teeth It took a day to look like this But it's my hair, it's my skin It's my curve, it's my thick My self-esteem is just my way It's just my way of saying things It's mine Whatever you see in this See me trying to hide I'm the first to be dancing in the room Cause I owe you no apology I'm here to dance the night away My self-esteem is just my way It's just my way of saying this It's mine Whatever you say Shy away, we will still be coming out to face just now.